Hey beautiful people, <laughs> top of the afternoon to you all. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I'm also doing so very well as you can see. Yeah, if you're new here, yeah, I'm coming at you straight from Mali, from Marco. So, all of you, welcome to Mali, the cradle of civilization and the land of one people, one goal, and one faith. Look at my favorite bike rider. He rides me everywhere I'm going. When I just call him, he's there like every moment and he's so kind. One day, I got my money missing and I was stuck. I couldn't go home. He saw me and he was going my way. And he just, you know, brought me home freely. When I got home, I offered him money and he refused. It was such a very long distance. He's such a kind man. So, thank you to him for me he doesn't even understand what I'm saying but I just want you to say thank you I, I so much appreciate everything that you do for me okay all right so you can attempt here in Mali and also selling roofing sheets those are also very profitable because every now and then people are building especially where I am in Bamako although Bamako is a city we always do get a lot of bare land people are always building so yeah welcome to the animal park here Bonsa. Okay. <laughs> No, Anglais. Bonsoir. Ah, bonsoir, ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Ça va If you are a meat lover and you are in Mali, you don't have a problem at all. This is what they are doing here, roasting meat. If you like it, you come here, you buy some meat and you are good to go. Bonsoir. Ça va? Okay. All right, so let's go. Although I don't understand anything they say, but let's just go. I'm just here to show you what they do here. Here they kill chickens. When you want to buy chicken, they can kill it for you and prepare it for you over there. Bonsa. They prepare it for you. You can see they are selling chicken there. And these are all animals that they are selling. Oh my goodness. Here yeah, you see these people, you may feel like um, they are not living a good life. But when you get to the city and see their houses, 
You guys, you'll be marvel. You see that by the ah, uh, freaking break. Boss, <laughs> Sava. Okay. Someone told me when I come here, they won't allow me to film. Uh, but as I'm here, the people are so friendly. That's what I get always. They tell me, no, don't go there. Don't go and do that. But when you get there, see, you realize that the people are friendly. So this is the animal park here in Akedebubu. They say they have two in Bamako. They have one here in Akedebubu Nyamana. And they have another one too in Faladi. Look at that. This is where they used to fetch water. Where are you going? Eh? Where are you taking the water to? Is it La Maison? Eh? <laughs> ah, no Francais. Anglais? Oh, no angler. Okay. Good afternoon. So this is just what I want to be showing you. Let me come. Yeah, all these are for sale. Me, when I see a nice person, me, I want to get closer. So you see, these are, are they shapes? And these are cows, they are for sale. Oh my goodness. So you guys, and this is for animal thing. What's that? English. English. What is this for? Machine. For what? Rice. This one? And you grind this one for the cows. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Mali is good. Mali is good. <laughs> Mali is good. Boku, manje. Ah. Okay. Bonsa. Bonsa. Oh, these are all Tamil. Well, guys, me, I'm just enjoying the community of the people here. They are so friendly. Yesterday, when I was in Cebu, I met a Ghanaian. He didn't even want to say hi to me. But the Malians, they don't know you, but they are so friendly. They want to talk to you. They want to touch you. They want to hug you. Malians are good people. Bonsoir. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> yes. Look at the camel. Sometimes you see they want to say hi, but they don't know what your reaction to be, so they hold back. So if you smile, they want to talk to you. I want to get a nice person to explain maybe something to us. I don't know. What's that? Dava? They are living here with their community, in their house that they live in, as they rear the animal. But don't think ill of them, they have a lot of money. We have houses being built uh, in the CV center. Um, Bonsoir. Angle. Angle. They don't want to talk. Bonsoir. Okay, this is what they use to feed the animals, this bush. I see this a lot. Uh, some of the people are not happy with the camera, so anyone that is not happy, I just, you know, I walk by. So I just want to show you how this place is where they rear their animals and everything. Can I come? Je bien? Bonsoir. They are saying something, I don't know what they are saying. Bonsoir. Ça va bien. Et toi? Boudero. Boudero. Manger? Manger? Oh. Ah. Ah. 
So I saw these guys working so hard under the series sun and I wanted to find out what they are about. <laughs> guys, some of these guys are really funny. Okay, this guy didn't understand the question I was asking, so he just kept imitating whatever I was saying. Like it was so funny. <laughs> Guys, so the handsome little cute boy is just so excited to see me there. I don't really know what he's excited about, but everything is in the sack there is cow dung. As you can see, them pouring it on the floor. I think they use it to manufacture fertilizer or an organic manure for crop production. They are actually produced for sale. Okay, this place is called an animal park and of course most people you meet here are headsmen owning quite a number of cows, sheep, goats, etc. That guy you just saw like he's so pissed off with himself. I don't really know why. Maybe just because I'm filming. Yeah, so let's forget about him. But people here also deal in a lot of animal feed for a living. That means they sell them for a living here. Yeah. Wow, this guy is so kind. If you have watched from the beginning, when I was coming, I gifted him some money. He used the money to buy toffee. I got here and he's giving me some of that toffee. Oh my goodness, he's super kind. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't even understand when he was telling me in the beginning. <laughs> And you guys, I hope you guys can see the guy sitting up there on the auto rickshaw idle. When he saw me approaching from afar, he started saying, Try usually, try usually, meaning you're beautiful. Of course, thank you, I'm beautiful. But as I got closer, he started asking if I could give him my number. And I'm like, Why should I even give you my number? Like, everybody wants to take my number. Guys, imagine the number is finishable. How much of it will be left as I return to? <laughs> my country you guys <laughs> bye bye you love me oh i love you back okay 
and voila you've heard it for yourself introducing to you my found love this is how i find love every pleasant day in this country you can imagine <laughs> Oh, these people are praying. When they are praying, they don't need cameras around them. So, I just came here to show you how the park looks like. And I just want it to be as short as possible. You see, this is what they use to fetch water. I just asked the small boy and he was like, this is a market, a market for the cattle. Anybody who owns cattle, this is where they bring it for sale and people who want to buy, this is where they come to buy at the cheapest price possible. Yeah. So you can see more cows chewing in. Wow. So this pack comes in handy for their women, I mean their wives, to vend their products here. As you can see, there are lots of women here selling water and what have you. So this is where, you, if you want to buy animals, you come here and buy. Wow. I wish I have someone who can take me to them. Wow, you guys, it's funny how they kept staring at me so strangely. So, as I was standing there, the headsmen keep chopping in with their cows, some behaving madly. As you can see, that one hitting the man almost down, and they are also beating it with their what is that called? Their stick. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Yeah, so as I was leaving, he requested to take some pictures with me, so I just heeded to his request, guys. <laughs> oh, the majority of the people in the cabal, the animal markets, were not cool with the camera. The few that were were so tolerant and welcoming to the extent of taking me this lovely, lovely pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you have learned a thing or two. Bye!